Hello, this is Yegor Trefalok from Sonom International, and today we'll make an introduction to Anaplan dashboards for the end users. First, we'll tell you about how to open a modal in Anaplan. Go to anaplan.com and click a login button in the top right corner of the screen. You will be asked to enter your credentials and password, and once you log in, you'll be taken to your workspace. Here you have a list of modals that you have access to, in this case it's just one. Note that there is a favorites tabs, and you can mark some of your modals as favorites if you have several, and then only those modals can be seen under this tab, which is very handy if you have access to multiple modals and only use a few of them frequently. Then click on the modal to open it, and you'll be taken to your landing dashboard. Landing dashboard is the first dashboard you see when you open the modal. You can navigate to other dashboards using buttons or using the contents menu. You can open the contents menu using the two arrows on the top left corner of the screen. And here you have a list of all uh, dashboards that you have access to. In order to hide the contents menu, click the two arrows again. If you do not have access to a dashboard, it will not be seen in the contents menu and also the navigation buttons will be shown as unavailable. The dashboard consists of graphs and tables. In the table, you can use the search functionality. In order to use it, click on the down arrow at the top left corner of the table and go to search. Here you can search for either columns, rows, or the page selectors. For example, here we can search for staples and see all the staple related deals. Or we can search for line items like territory, and we'll see the territory column. However, we cannot search for the values like northeast. That will not show us any results. If we want to focus on specific values, for example, in progress, we only want to see the one deals, we can either go to down arrow data filter and say one, Or we can use a quick filter option in the down arrow next to every column. Let's reset the dashboard. And you can see that the table is not filtered again. Now click on the progress column, click on the down arrow, and list filter. This is a quick filter that gives us all values that are available in this table. And if we click on one, we'll only see the one deals. You can sort tables in Anaplan by any value or property. Let's try sorting this table by age days, where the smaller days values appear on the top of the table and the larger values on the bottom of the table. The first thing we need to do is we need to check that the table is not already sorted. To do that, click down arrow, go to data, sort, and you can see that currently it is sorted by deal versus geo average line item. Let's remove this sort. Click the age days column that we want to sort by and go to down arrow data sort again. And we want to sort it from lowest to highest. Let's click OK. And now we can see that the table is sorted the way we want it to. It is very easy to pivot tables on the dashboard. In our deal size table, we have line items in the columns and a list of opportunities in the rows. Let's say we want to see all the line items per opportunity without needing to scroll left and right to see all of them. We can use a pivot where we put our opportunity list in page selectors and we put our line items in rows. Now we can select an opportunity and see all the line items on one screen without a need to scroll. If you want to focus on certain elements of the dashboard, you can use hide or show items function. For example, if we want to only see the right three columns for our analysis, we can select all the other line items through control or shift 
right click and say hide. We can achieve the same result using the show function if we reset the dashboard and go to the three line items that are interesting to us. Right click, show. Another way to select multiple line items or list items from the different parts of the list or the table is to right click on any column and go to reselect items to show. Here you can add one or several items to the list, click apply and you'll be able to see them for your analysis as well. If you want to change the width of a column, you can right click on any column in the table and go to column settings. Here you can set a default column width, which will be applicable for all column where the width is not overwritten, or you can select a column width per column. Another useful function here is wrap text in headers. For example, in the three line items on the right, you can see that the value does not take a lot of space, so the width can be specified 80. But then the name of the line item is quite long, so if it wouldn't be wrapped, like so, we would need much wider columns to reflect the whole name. But luckily, you can again go to column settings and specify wrap and three lines as the maximum. And then you can keep the column quite narrow while being able to see the name of the line item fully. Drill down allows you to see the formula and the underlying values behind a certain calculation. For example, in our deal size table, we have a deal versus territory average, which is 2.2 for staples up. If we right click, click drill down or simply click F8, you'll see that this value comes from this formula. We divide deal size by the average territory deal size. The deal size is 920, but how is the average territory deal size calculated? So you can drill down on the value right here without leaving this window. And here you can see that we're taking the amount one for a certain territory and divided by one count for a certain territory. The amount one is 45 million and the one count is 112. Moreover, you can drill down also here and see where this value is coming from and which deals are actually marked as one in the table. If a field is a manual input, you can check history to see who and when modified it. Let's check the VP summary dashboard as an example. Here we have a table with blue values. Blue means that they're manual inputs and can be changed. Let's right click on a value, go to show history, last 24 hours, and we'll be able to see the history for the last 24 hours. Here we have the user who made the change, the previous value, and the new value. So the value was changed twice by the same user from 8.5 million to 9 million, and then from 9 million to 90,000. Here you can also see date and time, but note that the time is in UTC and not in the time zone of the person who made the change. If you want to check a certain table on a dashboard in detail, you can use the open source module functionality. Go to down arrow and open source module to see the underlying module that is posted on the dashboard. Note that the view may be different from the view of the same module on the dashboard, but it will contain the same data. Here you have pivot, filter, sort, and other functionalities that you also have on the dashboard. However, in this case, you will only see the module that you're interested in and not anything else. While working with Anaplan, you might have noticed that when you're making a change to a dashboard and then reopen the dashboard, the change disappears. Let's consider our deal size table as an example. Let's say you're not as interested in the region and territory columns and you'd value the opportunity to see the entire table without scrolling left and right more. So what you could do is you could hide these columns. And while this view looks perfect, as soon as you close the dashboard, and open it again, the columns will be there. Let's hide these columns and save this view as our personal view. 
To do that, go in the dashboard menu, click the two down arrows next to the dashboard name, and click Save as My View. Now we can switch between the master view, which was saved for you by the modal builder, and My View that you prepared yourself. You can also adjust My View by making more changes and clicking the Save button. Or delete My View, and then only the master view will be left. Note that this functionality has to be enabled by Modal Builder, so if you do not see the Save as My View button, please contact your Modal Builder and ask him to enable the dashboard personal views. Thank you for your attention. We hope this video was helpful for you. To find out more about Sonom International, please visit www.sonomint.com.